One way to isolate images is to use the quick selection tool. And you will see the magic wand tool on top. If you click and hold, you will see the quick selection tool. And this works by creating a selection algorithmically on the object. And it's kind of like painting in the sense that you drag out to the edges here, and you drag out, and you drag out, and you'll see your marching ants along the outside of your image. And if you go too far, so for example, if I click beyond what I want here, if I hold down Alt or Option, I can push it back in. And this allows me to nudge my selection back to the interior. So I'm going to hold on Alt, and I can change the size of my brush by either coming up here to the size portion here, or if I use the bracket tools, Command Z or Control Z to undo the last step, bracket. Uh, which are next to the letter P, you can change the size of your brush. And this also works for the paintbrush tool, both in Illustrator and in Photoshop. I'm going to just, I'm making just a very quick selection on this. And now if I go to the layer mask button, I will get a pretty good selection around my object. And you see that it has been trim, or it has, I see the transparent pixels behind. If I want to shrink my image, I can also use the crop tool to create a smaller selection around my object, like so, and hit enter when it is selected. Or if I want to undo that, I go to image, trim, and transparent pixels, and it will trim it down to right around my object. Hit enter, and then go to file and save as a Photoshop file. So this will be Bush. And you can leave maximize compatibility and say, okay.